Hi everyone, Brian here, Fox Brothers Marine Today we're going to be going over this beautiful 2023 Yardcraft 219 TFX. As we go up here in the front, uh, you're going to see it's going to have a trailer jack, swing tongue. It's going to have trailer e brake so if you unhook it from the truck, just pull that. Don't have to put blocks or anything on it. Uh, ladder right up here to help you get up and in and out of the boat. It's going to have your Minn Kota Altera 72 inch 112 pound MDI. Um, as we go back here, um, the tandem axle trailer, it's going to have your surge brakes system in it as well. As you go back here to your motors, it's going to have a Mercury Pro Kicker 15 horsepower. So the big outboard is going to be a Mercury Verado 400 supercharged. Uh, that motor is going to be sitting on a Bob hydraulic jack plate. It's also going to have zip wake trim tabs right down here and then an easy access boarding ladder. Um, so those are some of the awesome features on the outside of the boat. Now let's hop up in the inside and check out some more. As we get here in the, in the cockpit area, first thing you see it's going to have big spacious cockpit with EVA flooring. Um, it's going to be nice and easy on your feet for a long day on the water. As you move back here to the back casting platform, you have a big live wall right here. You can fit walleye, muskies, anything you catch in there. Um, go back here, there's going to be two storage compartments, both sides of the boat. Um, very deep, uh, you look like you see in here, you can just pull out tack and all that kind of good stuff back there. We're going to have cleats right here on both sides of the boat. There's going to be lights too on the cockpit area in here over here to the cockpit area in the console you can see first is your bump board right here once you pull that out this is also going to be access to put a net in there easy access right there right here is going to be your uh, trim for your hydraulic jack plate tilt and trim over here for the motor uh, you have all your gauges all that stuff live well pumps horn recirc all that stuff as we go over here for storage Easy access here, you don't want to throw keys, wallets, all that good stuff. And down here, it's going to have deep storage underneath the console. And here, I mean, a guy will be able to fit a dozen 3,700 Plano boxes easy in there. Big storage in there. As we go back here, there's a compartment here. Give you access to your batteries right back here. Charger, all that stuff in there. Storage right here on this side. For rods, put this down. You can fit up the 10 foot rods in there. Big spacious compartment in there. Now, let's move up to the bow of the boat. There's to be storage over here as well. Um, so yeah, it, there's a big open air in space. Easy to you know, get four guys in here and show all day on the water. Moving up to the bow of the boat before you're gonna have your day box cooler here. You now it can fit your day drinks. All that good stuff in there. Walk through windshield here. That moves over. And right here is going to be your big center rod locker. A lot of storage in there. Can fit a bunch of rods in there. And underneath here is going to be your trolling motor batteries and charger. Easy access to all the wires and all that right there. As we move up to the Front deck of the boat here, as you can see, a lot of room up here and a lot of storage. We'll start over here. This is going to be your bait well compartment. It's going to fit the angle cooler bait well with power right there. So you can hook that up and have the uh, aerator going in that. Right here is going to be a big cooler, insulated cooler with a drain on the bottom. Plenty of room, you know, to fit drinks, food, all that stuff for days on the water. Storage right here on both sides of the boat very deep and they go back in there so easy to put uh, life jackets even more tackle for you on the water as you move up here this you know can be used if you want to put in a trolling motor pedal you can put that in there or it can be used as a day box to throw you know baits and all that stuff and same compartment right here just more storage um, this boat is going to have plenty of storage for you uh, out in the water days. This is going to be your Minn Kota Altera iPilot Link 112 pound thrust, 36 volt, and the shaft is going to be 72 inch shaft. And this boat is going to be linked for hummingbird system, so it's easy to 
hook up your Helix or your Solus unit. This guy's is beautiful Yardcraft 219 TFX. Uh, for, for more information on this boat in particular or our other Yardcrafts in stock, feel free to reach me, Gary, or Dave in sales at Foster Brothers Marine here located in Delano, Minnesota.